So um, candlesticks and then support and resistance and trends, um, the impact of news and events. Um, we probably aren't going to get on to chart analysis, but I do have some other things on market structure um, and some other places that we will go tonight. Um, so these are going to be super important. If you've done the 100 and the 200 series in IM.Center, then this should, you know, strengthen that knowledge, ask questions. If you haven't, make sure you go back after this and do the 100 and 200 series, and then I'm recording this. So I should um, no, have this, this up at some point. trading call. Please mute yourselves. Oops, sorry. All right. Affirmation of the week. This is a big one here. Um, I am humble, right? We want humility as we continue to, you know, to grow in our knowledge and grow in our finances as we're doing this. Um, also, when we're getting when we're getting those blessings and we're in those trades and we're in profits, just being humble about those profits and and that information. But this is super important in your everyday life too. Just remaining humble throughout everything, even when you're going through something, you're not at your highs, right? Just being humble. And um, this is, I think, is just an important quality for a leader. Um, in the past, we've had a few of them. I think that'll help you guys as traders and leaders. Um, I am patient, I am studious, I am consistent, I am confident, I am committed, I am driven, I am resilient. And last week we had, I am deserving. Um, listed there actually didn't put it on there but i am deserving you are deserving of this moment right here learning how to trade right in this skill set so speak that out loud this week speak it over your life right speak it into existence i am humble all right so things to consider when trading so do you have a trading plan what is your pip goal uh, so we do have a trading plan uh, you can find these trading plans. I sent them out in the chat, um, but you can find them. You can see, you can add pairs traded. You can change these dollar amounts to whatever you have, right? Um, this is just one of them. This one actually allows you to have a trade journal with it. Uh, this one comes from Manny Q, one of the ones that I put in there. Um, it tells you what your pip lot size is, right? You put your initial balance in, it'll show you over time how you can grow that, what lot size you should use, how many pips should you go for, right? Make sure you're putting your wins, your wins and losses, basically tracking exactly what you're doing so you can see it, right? Um, I also sent you guys a way that you can pull this data out of MetaTrader. Um, so definitely utilize that so you can take a look at your trades that you've been placing in your demo or in your live accounts right now. So this is one of them. One of the, another one that I think we have. I don't think I have them all up right now. But there's definitely like so many different versions. But use these. This one is the 500 up here. This is Withdrawal Wednesday. allows you to withdraw weekly right um while you're growing your account so you can still have that tangible feeling of profit look at these dollar amounts and start with a 500 dollars, right you just have to really be um you know patient with the market use your risk tolerance and and really stick to your pip goals stick to your discipline right so it'll tell you what pip goals here that you would have at different risks, low risk, medium risk, high risk, number of pips I need to go per day, right? What's my daily goal if it was a dollar amount? So there's a bunch of these that are out there. I couldn't tell you how many we have, but just pick one, whatever one you like. Um, some of them have been modified. It's another one here. Different type of journals. And you can always change, these areas are able to be modified, uh, but don't modify the formulas okay so make sure if you're changing it that it says that it can be edited that field if you know how to work sell then if not ask we can help all right i just wanted to quickly jump to that because i know a lot of people are usually like what do you mean a trading plan it's like weeks in but uh, we do have them in the telegram chat in the files 
Um, what trading session are you trading in? So we know it's a 24-5 market. So it opens on Sundays at 5 p.m. Right at 5 p.m. And that's going to be in the Australians Monday at 8 a.m. So it's doing their business days, but it's a global market. So we start in Sydney. And next one is going to be Tokyo market starting around 7 p.m. on that Sunday. Right. London market starts at 3 a.m. And New York market opens at 8. Now you can trade these pairs as soon as the market opens for Sydney, but you wanna make sure that you're t uh, looking at the currency pairs that are in that market and making sure that those are the ones that you're trading, right? So Aud and NZD in the Sydney market, JPY in the Tokyo market, right? Um, Great British Pound in the Euro and the Chef, this is the um, 